Football is a very, very big part of my life. It dictates what I do every day. I picked up a football and haven't put it down since. Everybody wants to win, everyone wants to do their best. Even the younger guys too that are playing, they can make it very competitive. Everybody else is stepping up their game. This is just high speed competitive football. We're playing with each other, working towards the same goal. I've already seen a lot of improvement. That actually is a great stepping stool. I wouldn't have gotten where I am without that. The one, the only. Elite Eight. My name is Michael Brown. I'm the owner and operator of Battle X, which is a football specific training and athletic development facility. So I enjoy the one on one training. I enjoy our small groups, but I always had this thought of like, how can I help impact and help develop more athletes? With that also came the opportunity of developing coaches. So having that in mind, 8-on-8, eight eight, gave the opportunity to develop these athletes using concepts that they're going to use in the fall, giving them the ability to apply that in a game-like situation in a competitive and fun uh, and supportive environment. The first part of Elite Eight is the developmental side. We have a transition period with exhibition and install and then we move completely into competition. Our first week is the showcase. This is where the athletes get to come in. They get to network with each other. They get to interact with players from different teams in different parts of the city, so even the province, along with the different coaches, and have this opportunity to display what they can do. My name is James Colsey. I play receiver and I play at Citadel High School. I've been missing football since my season ended and being able to play uh, again here in the winter was really exciting. My name is Hunter Pretty. I play wide receiver for Bayview High School. Just competition level, getting to play against people from other schools and getting to know other guys and then in the football season then I can communicate with them better. My name is Aries Perry. I play wide receiver and I play at Auburn Drive High School. There's not a lot of programs happening in the winter around Nova Scotia. Elite Eight gives a great opportunity for the kids to get out and play football and improve. Drive safe when you get home. Tell your parents you love them. Get some food. Go to bed. We'll see you next week. The second week is the install. This is an opportunity for the athletes to actually be taught what these concepts are, what their generic terminology is, and then how it can be applied. My name is Sam Lecker Evans. I play DB and I'm at Bayview High School. Uh, so I had a few sessions with Micah before Elite Eight and I just wanted to kind of apply what I had been working on with him as well as uh, my communication skills on the field. I'm getting ready to go to university in the fall um, and play football. So I'm going to need to work on that and have my communication skills on point. Next, we had our team practice. We had the coaches calling out different names. When their name was called, they go to those coaches. And then at that moment, once everybody was selected, they were handed their bags. They opened their bags. They found out what team they were on, the colors, the coaches, and all the things. My name is Caden Frazier. Currently undecided where I'm going to be playing next year. Uh, but my last year I played for Auburn Eagles. Uh, a couple of my buddies that played on my team, uh, like Aries Perry, Isaiah Boutin, Jake Wombo, we've all been together for a while. And it's cool to have somebody that I've played with for a while to be going through the same stuff as I am. I do like my teammates that, uh, that I have played with on Citadel. Uh, Declan be one of them. Heard he's been doing great. And then my other rookies that I had uh, played with. Um, but then I also knew the people I did Elite Eight with last year, like Caden, Ari, Sam. Owen O'Coin, Jack Martin, Jason Wan, Des Crawford. I mean, a lot of those guys, they're some of my best friends, so like, I want to compete with them, you know, earn bragging rights. The fourth week brought exhibition. The exhibition was really important because it was a transitional piece, going from the developmental and camp style to have an opportunity to apply those things in a game-like setting without having to worry about wins and losses. 
I think uh, in terms of provincial baller high school, competition level is very similar. Uh, I think you know you have the, the guys who shine in the high school season. You know they're shining, and then everybody else also wants to shine. So everybody else is stepping up their game, and it's a really competitive environment. Compared to my recent years with football in Nova Scotia, uh, it definitely like stacks up well. Even the younger guys too that are playing, they can make it very competitive sometimes. I think it's definitely good competition. I mean, I get to play against a bunch of the, the grade 12 that I maybe were either on my team or against. You get to go up against them, but it also I think it helps the younger guys a lot because you got the older guys who are out here and you get to play up against like one-on-one -on -one that you might not in in the tackle season because they might be at a different spot on the field. I think it's definitely fun. A bunch of the guys that you work super hard to get far in the high school tackle season you get to go up against and uh, really get to compete like more than just a practice setting. And now it's game time. The games were extremely competitive. It was the feeling that every game was essentially a championship game. And this is how these athletes were playing. Whether they were a receiver, whether they were a defender going in for an interception, you know, the quarterbacks, you could see them fist pumping after they make a pass. It, it was really cool, it was really exciting. And again, every game was extremely intense and it literally went down to the last minute. Taking those games and, and that intensity and looking at the scores, it was a really competitive environment, but also a really fun environment too. I've definitely seen an improvement in speed. Understand the concepts that I'm seeing in front of me faster. Being on a team with guys that may not go to my school or guys who I've never played with before, um, I have to communicate that much more um, and I have to trust them and I've definitely seen an improvement in that. Taking the points, created a ranking system and program out of that and at the end it spit out from one to eight and then we did a, a tournament playoff format. I feel like they leave with a lot of things. I feel like they leave with the feeling of being a champion, the feeling of accomplishing something, the feeling of working through adversity, the feeling of putting in the work to be a champion. I feel that they also leave with camaraderie. I feel like they leave with a bigger friend group. I feel like they leave with a bigger support system because now they have more coaches that they can reach out to for support. I feel that they leave with a bigger community than they came in with. I'd definitely like to go to the next level and play further on with football. Battle X is a great stepping stool for, for me to be able to get there, whether it's exposure or just having Micah's brain to pick at and help me with my further knowledge of football. Battle X is a great program. I've already seen a lot of improvement. Football is a very, very big part of my life. It is 100% impacted my decisions on my future. I want to play pro but obviously that's not a guarantee for everybody. So coaching when I'm older is something I've looked into, being able to help guys who were once in my shoes. Yeah, I think I'm one of the best players in this province, and I wouldn't have gotten where I am without Battle X. So uh, a few weeks back, I committed to play football at uh, Mount A, and I'd love to continue to progress. After that, Micah and everyone here has so much to offer to anybody, and I think they can really help people take their game to the next level. Hearing the words that they said really meant a lot to me. Uh, I know it would mean a lot to my team, the coaches, and, and everybody that's involved with Battle X. And the Canadian game is such a beautiful football game, and I really hope that more people come to love and enjoy this game as much as I do, or even more. 
which I don't know if it's possible, but it's an amazing game. It's a beautiful game, and the more we grow it, the more we can share the love of our 12-a-side football uh, with the rest of the world.